lifespan of a star. There was a lot of dust and gases formed in the cloud and it was massive. Gravity pulls and it collapses. Core is formed of dense hot masses. Particles fuse with such force inside it's the energy source in the core so there's no confusion. H makes H-E, it, it's called fusion. Energy powers the star so fine and it switches on begins to shine. For a while there is a balance of power. Gravity pulls in while hot core pushes outward. Helium takes over when hydrogen is reduced, carbon and oxygen are produced. Star collapses, its core dense and hot, its outer layer expands quite a lot. Star expands with this energy, a red giant is what you see. Outer layer has less gravity, it keeps drifting off into space you see. Planetary nebula it will be, when it comes to space it's quite a beauty. The small core remains, it's a white dwarf, it cools, it's dead, it's a black dwarf. If there's a bigger star, then it can fuse heavier elements that it can use. Once it reaches iron, fusion stops, the core collapses in from the top. A supernova explosion takes place, which makes it very shiny in space. All that's left is a small core, it's called a neutron star for sure. When the largest stars begin to fold, the inside forms a black hole. You think you're amazing? You are. Everything in you is from a star. Bang bang. <laughs>